Hi Capricorn, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your reading for October 8th or now, whenever. October 8th to the 15th. This is for the sign of Capricorn. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Now typically my readings are love readings. We're going to see whatever comes up. This reading is for somebody. I don't know who. Might not be for you. May or may not be. of cups right off the bat lovely so this is the past we all know the six of cups is the past could be just memories of the past or it could be re reconnecting with somebody from your past now I'm going to clarify this right off the bat reconnecting with somebody from the past does not mean that this person is an ex-lover this is somebody that you have known okay this could be an acquaintance this could be a friend of a friend okay Somebody that you have known in the past, maybe you went to school with them, maybe you worked with them 10 years ago, um, who knows? This is like reconnecting or there's memories of the past, okay, it's nostalgia. Um, there's somebody from the past could be returning to your life. This could be even a past life relationship. Um, but this is a reconnection, I believe, with somebody from your past that you, I mean, for some reason, I really feel like this is not somebody that you have dated before. Okay? This is somebody that you have known. Alright? But it's not... I, I feel like it's not somebody you have dated before. Whew. It's not. It's because this, this is the uh, a new opportunity that you that you have that you can't see. You have a new opportunity that you can't see. It's it's after a loss. This this connection happens after a loss. So Capricorn, it looks like you have been overwhelmed. You've been overwhelmed with something. Things have been delayed. Your love, you know, the, the love that you have been praying for has been delayed. I think that you have been going through some sort of perhaps even a midlife crisis, okay? Maybe you've been isolating yourself to regain strength of some sort. It feels like you, you've lost some of your strength due to an unhealthy situation and now you're starting to wake up again. Okay, you're going, you're starting to wake up again. And it feels as though there's, there's been a lot, a, a lack of, of progress in regards to um, feeling this, feeling alive again. But it's like you're on the verge of regaining the strength that's been, been lost through some sort of disappointing situation. You've been involved in a situation that has really left you almost like high and dry.
okay, you feel like you've been burnt out, okay, to the point of collapse, you know, I think that you've, you've probably been brought to your knees, and maybe you've, you've been a little confused, and not thinking clearly, but I think that you're going through some sort of awakening now that is going to bring you something emotionally fulfilling. So I feel like there is some sort of new connection coming in that is what you have been praying for, which is pretty amazing. Um, but you probably may not even recognize it at this time. Maybe you do, maybe you don't. It may be hard to recognize because you may be thinking unclearly, okay? Maybe you're going through a period of, maybe you're feeling a little distracted because you're overwhelmed with responsibilities or overwhelmed with the circumstances that you're dealing with right now. But I have to tell you that these are, these are both like somebody from the other side, okay? It's like somebody from the other side is guiding you in a new direction. They're they're trying to help you. This is it is, it is these are like, these are like heaven sent. I I believe there's somebody on the other side that is that sees your struggle. They see that you have been brought down. They see that you're going through some sort of crisis. Okay, I think there's somebody from the other side that is probably you know passed on or whatever that sees your crisis and they're. They, they may be trying to help you find the strength to, you know, stand back up again. They see that, you know, whatever this is, it feels like you, you may feel like you have nothing to celebrate. You may feel like you are, um, you have nothing left to give. I think that you feel like your cups are empty at this point and... Y You know, maybe you need to you need to let your friends help you at this time. Maybe you feel like you're giving up. And maybe they see that you're giving up. Maybe they see that you're giving up hope. But there's an opportunity for happiness here. There's an opp opportunity for extreme happiness. If you could only look and see that it's right here. It's it's not where you've been concentrating. See, she's concentrating on the loss, the empty cup, the loss. When there's an opportunity for the two of cups right here with somebody you've known. That can lead to something solid, long term. Happy, 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 happy. If you can just look at it and see it for what it is. It may take some courage to... forgive yourself or to accept this change or whatever it is but it feels as though right now you have been blocking success by concentrating on the hurt that you're going through or the loss by you are you're blocking love because these are the rods of love you're blocking this this ace of cups by your by living some sort of by not seeing things clearly, this is an illusion. By not realizing that whatever is happening is happening for a reason, okay? There's, stuff, there's something going on behind the scenes that you are unaware of. You know what I mean? It's like the universe is, is working, the universe or somebody from the other side is working on your behalf. And you may not see it. You may not see that, you know, everything really, really does happen for a reason. I feel like there is some sort of cycle There's some sort of cycle that is ending, that is causing you some sort of despair. But it's a this 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 confusion and despair that it's bringing you is trying to force growth, you know, trying to bring you growth, but you're blocking it. You're blocking this growth by not accepting it or not feeling it or something like that. I mean, the Empress reversed. It's like not dealing with the pain. You have to feel the pain, really, really feel the pain, accept the pain and, you know, grieve 
whatever it is, you have to feel it to, to grow, okay? So I feel like, oh, goodness gracious. There's too much going on right now. You got, you're dealing with a lot right now. I think you're dealing with a very big, heavy load. I think you're carrying a heavy load, and I think you're trying to bury some pain inside of you that needs to be released. I think that you need to find the strength and the courage and the confidence to to deal with this pain and, and release it. Um, release it with the new moon or the full moon. The new moon is like on the 8th, I think. You need to go out and set some intentions to release this pain that you've been harboring, holding on to. I think you're blocking out your true feelings because it hurts so bad. I think that there's a loss that you that you're reluctant to let go of, but I feel like it's it's time for you to let it go and to allow this 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 healing process to get to its extreme point that it needs to get to because once you do, you will find that, you know, it was a blessing in disguise, but you you're not seeing that at this point. I think right now you're dealing through with some sort of um, emotional grieving process that is affecting your your own happiness and I'm, I'm sorry to say that but it's time for you to move on it's time for you to move to a new place of peace and harmony and to to come out of this these this area of of trouble you know that you've been in I think that you've been involved in something that was very very troublesome and heavy and hurtful and you've probably been trying to avoid the the pain but you you have to accept the pain to to get to the other side you know you have to go through the the hurdles Okay, you got to go through the hurdles to get to the other side. So instead of blocking it, just keep going. Just keep going. Okay, keep going because at the end of the end of this um, storm or whatever it is, this this obstacle that you're going through is happiness. It is happiness. There's something that you can't see with the moon card and this right here. There's something that you, that you can't see on the other side. There is. There is something that is going to make you happy. And it, I think it does involve somebody from your past, but not somebody you've dated. Okay, so whatever that means, I don't think it's somebody that you've dated. Let's clarify this Ace of Cups. What is this Ace of Cups? Now, the Ace of Cups is... Um, is love, okay? It's the raw opportunity for new love. It's the beginning of love, okay? And it also, when you see this, when you see this Ace of Cups right next to the Judgment card, this is, this really is like somebody from the other side that has your back. Somebody has your back. They see your struggle, so trust me. And pay attention to your dreams because this person may be giving you messages through your dreams at this time. So really, really pay attention to your dreams, Capricorn. They're, they're guiding you. They are guiding you in a new direction. So really pay attention. Somebody from the other side is moving you in a new direction. But you're going to have to face some pain to get to this happiness. Okay? I mean, look at this. This is, this is extreme bliss where you are, you know, cuddling and just at ease. At ease with another person. So it's, it's going to happen. But you're going to have to find the strength to deal with some sort of pain. Okay? Now we're going to clarify this Ace of Cups. It's like you've been overwhelmed, but there is some sort of love here. Whew. You need to let your defenses down. You need to let somebody love you. Open your heart. Open your heart, Capricorn, okay? You need to open your heart because it feels like you're very, very guarded. You feel like you may feel like people are out to get you because of what you're going through, and that's understandable. That's understandable. But all you're doing by having your guard up and wanting to defend yourself constantly is pushing people away. You're 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 putting out your own fire. You know, you're putting out your own fire. You're, you're throwing away an, op, an exciting opportunity by 
being so defensive, you know, thinking that somebody is going to hurt you. There's an opportunity for something very exciting if you would not fight it, okay? Don't fight this new opportunity. That's what it's like. It's like you're, oh, you're your own worst enemy here. No. Oh. oh, goodness. You're reluctant. You are reluctant to... Let anybody in to let anybody help you. And I see that maybe you need to let your friends help you. If you're overwhelmed, if you're taking on all the burden, if, if things are a little crazy, if you're grieving, let somebody help you. Maybe that's what you need. Anyhow, this is patience is needed. Once you feel this pain, accept this pain and allow it, you will feel relief. Relief is coming, Capricorn. It is coming. After you move on. After you stop blocking out what is truly happening. Whew. Now, this is like... This could be family re related. You could be going through some sort of family issue where there is some sort of loss that is causing a huge... Um, It's, it's causing a huge hurdle in your life right now. I think that you're going through some sort of family situation that is impacting your ability to open your heart to anyone. I think that you're feeling um, at a complete loss, like you're, you're overwhelmed with burden. I'm s this is not what I want to say. Damn it. You know... Um, but you're moving away from it. This is, it's over. It's like the worst is over. The loss is just about over. And once, once you, once this cycle is going to complete, it's going to, because we have the, the cycle is the moon. And then we have this turning away from a family situation, a family situation that has been causing a lot uh, costing money, costing, making you feel insecure, making you feel unstable, whatever it is, whatever this family issue is. That's caused so much turmoil in your life. It is going to resolve. It's going to resolve and it's going to get better. It's going to, you're going to start to feel relief once this is, it's going to end. It's going to end. Okay. Once it ends, because we have these tens, completion, completion, completion. Once it ends, there is going to be something that is going to lead to something a, a lot better. But you, you, you are going to feel some sort of pain before you get there. <sighs> And I can't make this be all beautiful if it's not. That's that's a lie. Okay, that's a lie. So I think there's a family issue that is starting to dissolve and it hurts. It hurts. And you're dealing with the hurt. You're dealing with the pain right now. It hasn't completely been finished yet. The delivery hasn't happened. You know what I mean? It hasn't come to the point of, of birth, you know, it's or, or death or whatever it is, but it's coming. It's coming. And once it comes, you know, you may feel a little conflicted. You may feel a little overwhelmed, like, whew, this is too much for me. But I think that in the end, it's going to bring you relief and happiness and love. Okay? <sighs> So, what about the future for Capricorn? So, what's the going on this week? There's a completion of some sort here. 10, 10, 10. There's a completion. Okay. So, something is ending. Something is ending that is going to bring you something better in the long run. And it may, you know, make you feel like you're alone. Okay. Because this is, this is very, this, this person is usually alone. This may make you um, really wake up. You know, whatever this is, you may go through some sort of awakening. Okay, whatever is happening may be waking you up. Um, you could be dealing with a Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. We have we have Leo. We have... Um, oh, what else do we have? Taurus. We have Taurus. We have Libra. Jeez and crow. We don't have a lot of court cards here. We have Scorpio. But we have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. We have Leo. We have Taurus and Libra. 
Um, we have Virgo. It doesn't really matter what sign it is, but it feels as though you're going to have to look at things from a new perspective to bring happiness to your life. Look at this as look at this loss, this completion as a gift instead of a a loss. You know what I mean? Look at this from a new. This is what she does. This is you can look at this as a man or woman. This is an energy of a person that need looks at things optimistically. Like there's a reason for this, and the reason is you know you got to be optimistic about the circumstances. Look at this through. Um, as, as positively as you can because in the end it is it is going to bring you extreme happiness it is even though at first it's going to cut whatever it is that you're you're completing whatever cycle whatever loss whatever it is that's happening if somebody's moving out of their home or who knows what's happening there's some sort of um, family issue that is being um, resolved probably not the way that you had hoped Okay, for some of you. And there's some sort of completion here that it is calling for you to be optimistic and try to look at this from another view. Okay, try to look at this from a different angle. Because in the long run, it's going to bring you the Two of Cups and happiness and love with somebody that you are very familiar with. Somebody that you've known before. So... I know that you're reluctant to believe that and you re you don't want to feel this pain. Nobody does. Nobody wants to feel this pain. But you have to feel this pain to get to the other side. Okay, you do. You have to go through the hurdles to get to the other side. That's all there is to it. So um, it may be a very intense week. Okay, it's, this is for the 8th through the 15th. Keep in mind that the timing is fluid. And this reading may not be for you. Okay, because this reading is for a general audience of thousands of people. That doesn't it's not gonna resonate with every single person, but it's gonna resonate with a few, I believe it is. I believe there's a reconnection with somebody from your past, um, in two different ways. I think there's somebody from the other side that is guiding you, that is helping you, that is watching you, that is going that is helping you through this hurdle, helping you helping you through this family um problem that you're going through it's not just a problem it's like a grieving process it's like there's some sort of grief that is going on that somebody from the other side is right behind you they're they're there they're with you they're they're helping you and they're also helping you to reconnect with somebody that you have known before okay so you have a you have a couple of past people here somebody that has passed and somebody that is from your past that is going to re-enter your life um And probably make you happy. There's a major new beginning here. You know, when you get the world card, it's the last card in the deck. It means that one cycle, one phase, one project, one long-term thing could be a marriage, could be a schooling. Anything that's long-term that had a pr really big effect on your life is over. One chapter, a long-term chapter with the world card, something that was so prominent is over. It's over. It's time for a major, and this is the, this is what this is, a major new beginning. One lesson has been learned. You've, you've faced the struggle. And now it's time to step over that finish line and start on the next chapter. So congratulations, because that's what this is. You've struggled, right? I mean, there's been some struggle. Or you're struggling now, whatever. But it's, 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 it's over. It's been intense. But now there's an opportunity for a major new beginning here that could that will lead to victory and success. It could lead to travel, moving. So anyway, I feel as though you guys have a major new beginning that is about to... Something's going to change your life. There's a big cha completion here with these ten. Some in the world card, something is absolutely over. Valiant courage, take action with passion. And somebody has lost some of their passion here. 
So, and then we were talking about courage up here, remember? So you gotta have courage and don't lose that passion, okay? Maybe you lost some of it because you've been struggling. But looks like somebody from the other side is, is trying to help you. This isn't the time to be timid or hold back. Gather your inner resources and go forward gallantly with the banner of truth waving in the wind. Throw your shoulders back and move forward fearlessly. Take risks. It's okay to feel afraid. Just don't let it stop you. Don't play it safe. Opportunities will pass you by otherwise. Speak up for yourself. Honor your truth. You are a light bearer for others. Through your example, people find and act on their truth with courage and grace. The sacred traveler sometimes experiences the unexpected on the road. Yeah. Perhaps a bear appears or someone with less than pure intentions emerges from the woods. Courage doesn't mean that you're not afraid. It means that in spite of fear and hesitation, you take action. Face your anxiety and go beyond the boundaries of limited perceptions of yourself. Any journey of the heart needs courage. And you're on such a journey. It takes bravery to go forward when you can't see around the next corner. But do it anyway. Do not allow yourself to be limited by the beliefs of others or even your own limiting beliefs. Go beyond boundaries of self-imposed barriers. Live passionately, valiantly, and courageously. Assert yourself. Be optimistic. There's an opportunity for love here. If you face your fears. That's what I have. Talk to you later.